Agre Bampalana and Tabi Sanguna are overjoyed with the return of their son Success Mwesigwa two months after he went missing from Little Angels Primary School in Kawanda where he was a boarder. I'm very happy because I have seen success. Now I'm feeling okay. Now by this time I'm feeling even I, cry, I can cry. The 10-year-old disappeared from school on 16th October 2019. On 4th November, his mother sought answers from the school, but they could not explain his whereabouts. <laughs> According to police, the boy was taken to Central Police Station in Kampala on the same day he disappeared from school, being dropped off by a good Samaritan. He alleges he boarded the taxi. The taxi brought him and dropped him to the old taxi park, where a good Samaritan on a motorcycle uh, brought him up to the police station near CPS. A statement was taken from him, still this did not help police find his parents. He informed us that the school he goes to is called the Mbiko King Solomon Primary School. Uh, we actually went to this school and we were informed that uh, the, uh, this, this child is not known at that school. Police then referred the youngster to an NGO called Retrack Uganda to help look for his parents. Ritrak says it took the child time to open up and reveal any information about his parents. Uh, this particular child was referred to us on 22nd of uh, October. So within one month we had been struggling to get to know the details of the child. Until last week Wednesday when he told us he, his school where he was in is in Njero. At, at Ginya Road. So we went there to trace for the school so that we are able to get the contact for the parents. The child's uncle who was identified in Injeru refused to receive the child since the matter had been reported to police and was in court. Even as they are relieved that their son is back, Mwesugwa's parents and guardians have questions about how the search and reunification of their son was conducted. Why is it, was it much easier to pick that child and take it to a home rather than calling the parents who left the contacts behind. The only confusion that was there was about the school because if and also the school taking long to report this incident. Swaib Malay, the lawyer handling the child's case, has explained the next step to be taken. It is work for the investigations to find out whether there has been an irregularity to find out whether there has been uh, anything that has not been followed yet it was supposed to be followed. According to Mali, the parents are willing to reconcile with the school administration while the child who has been away from his parents needs psychosocial and mental rehabilitation. Patrick Senyondo, NTV Tonight.